that. What's up, everybody? I'm Kelsey, and last time I made a pretty impulsive decision that I now have to deal with the consequences of today. I asked our friends on Patreon whether or not they thought it would be appropriate to age Amethyst up so we can continue on with the challenge. It kind of feels like we're in a holding pattern a little bit until she ages up because I've done all of the other requirements of the challenge. It seems like you guys are in agreement that since she was pregnant a ton, we could just move forward in her life. So today we'll be aging up Amethyst. I haven't had a chance to remodel the house yet, so we might just be living in this tiny house for a bit longer and then we will have the remodel for next week. So let's dive in. We're back at the house. It's Monday night. I think I'll have our birthday after work tomorrow and then we'll quit our job. Fox meanwhile is hanging out with Kat. Fox and Kat are besties. Fox has not done any homework for school, but he's fine. He needs to reach a level five of the motor skill. Do we live near a park? Yes, we do. Okay, he can actually sneak out and go to the park. He's a little tired, but it might be kind of fun if he does do that. So why don't you go play the space explorer after you're done playing with Kat Bear? Oh, mom woke up because of the baby. Oh, wow. And Otto took care of the baby. Why don't you go back to sleep, mom? I was like, gonna let your son sneak out. So you gotta be asleep for him to sneak out. All right, he's headed out of the house. Here we go. Running across the street at 9.30 PM. This is Fox for you. Going across the street to go play on his own. He looks like kind of mad. Oh no, it says unwanted sibling. So he's mad that he's not the only sibling. He did not want a younger sibling. And he feels silly from playing with Kat and is enjoying the tiny home. You know, he, he doesn't hate the tiny home, which maybe, you know, might appeal to him later in life. He's not supposed to have a lot of money when he grows up. So maybe it's something that he actually kind of enjoys that he, he likes living in a smaller, more comfy space. And he just reached level four of the motor skill. Good job, buddy. You need to reach level five though. Have him stay out a little longer playing around on the playground here. He's feeling so energized just playing alone. I think he's a bit of a loner, but I do kind of want him to become closer friends with Dylan. I feel like they have similar energies of like being a little pent up aggressive towards their parents. And you know, cause Dylan's parents both died and then he was left alone in Forgotten Hollow. So I feel like Dylan might have a pretty hefty chip on his shoulder and maybe Fox might be a little impressionable, maybe gets a bit of that anger from his cousin and they kind of become like a little duo. Oh, now he's angry. He's full on angry about his little sibling. Maybe it's time to like write in his little journal be like, ugh, I have a new sibling and I hate it. All right, why don't you go home, buddy? Once you're done, you do look like you're getting tired. Nope, he's still playing. He's so exhausted, but he's like, I'm gonna keep playing. Now he's just playful. He's having a good time. He worked off all of that anger on the playground, so that's good. It is 1 a.m. Okay, buddy, you should go to bed, all right? You should really go to bed. He is exhausted. Like, I thought he would choose to stop playing at some point. He did not. If I would have let him, he would have gone all night. <gasps> Mom's woken up and Indy's not there. She might think he's in the other room, but there isn't a lot of space in here for him to hide. You better hurry up because it looks like, oh, who's here? Oh, it's a mom. Casey came to visit at 2 a.m. All right, deep personal conversation. I feel like they should have a big personal conversation. Oh my gosh, hurry up, Fox. You're gonna get found out. Maybe she thought he was playing outside. I don't know. He's gonna go to the bathroom and then go to sleep. He'll take a shower in the morning before school. Oh, I didn't realize you have to wash your hands in the sink in the kitchen after you go to the bathroom. That's not great. They're falling asleep at 3 a.m. Oh. Nope, mom is up again. What are you doing? Why can't you just sleep? Disco nap, disco nap here. She's like very restless in this home. I don't think she feels comfortable. I don't think it feels like her own. And mom left after cleaning up a little bit around the house. At least they have like each other though. That's really sweet. I like that. She's going outside to play her guitar and sing her songs. She doesn't want to wake up her son. Maybe this is kind of when she's noticing that she's unhappy with her job too. She's like, maybe it wasn't my marriage that made me so unhappy. Maybe it's my job. I think she's going to figure that out today. I work for so her starts in about an hour and so does Fox's school. So Fox, you might want to get up and get ready for school today. I know you didn't get that much of rest, but it's okay. Why don't you have a quick meal of some cereal? And Indy is awake. Indy is awake and needs some attention. She's just sitting on the floor to watch TV. Oh my. He's gonna watch TV with mom. She turned on kids shows for him. That's 
that's sweet of her. She's gonna read a book. This is so cute. Oh, send alone. Okay. The baby's crying, but they have to go to work. Oh, I love her new outfit. That's really cute. Baby's gonna go to daycare and have a fun day at school, Fox. Your first day at school. I think. I think it's his first day at school. And this is at work. She's going to work hard. But I think this is her last day at work. Five hours later. Ooh, Fox is home from school. Good job, Fox. He's super duper tired. So he's gonna go to sleep. I think he stayed up way too late last night. So he needs a nap before mom gets home. Oh, he seems so sad. It makes me super sad that he's sad. I bet he misses some of his friends from school. I don't know if he did have a lot of friends from school, but sure he had some. But oh my gosh, Amethyst is super sad. Why don't you call a sadness hotline and then you have to have your birthday, okay? We gotta age you up, queen, and have you ditch the career. You gotta be a dancer again. Why don't you cook yourself a little cake? We'll do the blue confetti one because that's the closest to purple. And you're gonna invite over some people. Do you need to do your homework, buddy? I guess he doesn't really ever do his homework, but he's an excellent C student, so good for him. Okay, birthday party. Birthday sim is Amethyst. Kind of feels weird to invite everyone because the house isn't very big. Maybe she'll just invite her friends instead of her whole family. Genevieve and Mai. She's cooking, standing over the cat dish, but it's fine. She's in a goodish mood. Oh, it's almost Indy's birthday. Oh, good. I think it's probably Indy's birthday tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's Indy's birthday. Perfect. You can see, yeah, Genevieve is an adult. So I feel like it makes sense that Amethyst is turning into adult now because I think Genevieve was a little younger than her originally. Wait, add birthday candles before anyone takes a slice. I don't want to make two cakes. Oh. Oh, why don't you vent to your friend? Complain about your problems a little bit and then go feed your baby who is crying. She's like, I cannot believe he did that. Like, I can't believe you flirted with someone and iced you out like that and you had the arguments. I'm so sorry, Amethyst. She's like, yeah, but then I went to work today and I don't feel any better. I actually feel worse. Like, at first I was relieved that I was, you know, single again, but now I really hate it and I miss him. She's like, okay, well, maybe it's time to look for a new job after you age up, of course. We're gonna blow out candles. Where's Fox? He's working on his little skill. <gasps> he did it! He reached level two of the rambunctious scam. Nice, good job, buddy. Mom's blowing out the candles. Happy birthday, Amethyst! Ooh, and she aged up, and she ran outside. Skylar, Tyler, Taryn, Casey, Dylan, and Slate all sent her birthday gifts in the mail. Oh, Slate, that's so cute. It means that technically her ex-husband sent her a birthday gift, but he like signed the twins' names on it. I bet he feels pretty weird about the whole like flirting with someone else thing now. I think they both did things that they definitely regretted and wouldn't necessarily think is like a good representation of themselves. But now that she's a little older, I'm gonna give her a makeover. I feel like now that she's a little older, she's like, you know what? I'm gonna try to be more myself. I don't like this outfit. This, I was being kind of a character version of who I truly am. So she's gonna go back to her longer hair or at least her more fun hair options. This reminds me of her mom's hair a little bit, which makes me happy. So I think I'm gonna go for this. Let's give her something more fun. Something a little bit more pop star energy. Professional dancer kind of thing. Oh, I like this top. Let's do this top. Let's do like a fun jean and then a, a purple shoe. Fun. Okay, and then accessories. We get her fingernails done. We're gonna give them like bright purple, long, aggressive, you know, beautiful. Give her some like bold makeup look. Oh, I love this. I love this. And then maybe eyeshadow. Oh, that actually doesn't look bad with the liner. I think it's fun. And then we'll do maybe some like accessories. I feel like she used to have like a nose piercing. So maybe she gets that back. Oh yeah, this is looking good. She's looking a lot more like our Amethyst. She was gone for a minute, but now she back, you know? So I switched up a lot of her looks. We have her more casual look and a more flash look for her party wear. We've got this still a little more cat. She's a little more casual than she was probably as like a, a young adult teen. Oh, I need to add her classic beret into one look. Maybe this one. We loved the beret. The beret was such a moment. We've got to bring it back. Perfect. So we got even her beret back. So she's feeling more herself. She's a little more amethyst. We missed her amethyst energy, you know? Ooh, 
Ooh, but our baby is still crying. Okay. And then we need to call and quit our job. Be like, you know what? I grew my hair out and I moved and it's just not working for me anymore. I need a change for my career as well. Oh yes, we are sure we're gonna quit our job as doctor general practitioner. Quit. No more. We are not in the job career anymore. She's feeling amazing. She's like, oh yes, I quit that job. It was so exhausting to commit to that thing. I did not want it. So good for me. Good for me. Hooray. And now we're going to find a new job because we need some money. We only have 4,000 simoleons to our name. She's going into the entertainer career. Interesting. Well, we already have so many of the skills, so we don't really need to do most of these things, but we're going to practice music. She's like, I want to be an entertainer. Like, this is my dream. Look how happy she is. She's just beaming. She's like, this is, feels right. You know, this feels good. I don't know why my never came by, but Genevieve came by and that's really what matters. Oh my gosh, I forgot she's so good at guitar. Is she top level guitar? Oh, she's, yeah, she's level eight. Of course she is. Fox is feeling very inspired. He's gonna go eat some of uh, the cake. So good. She's talented. You know what? Maybe she's going to make it in her entertainment career. I love this for her. So we've officially mastered dance and two other skills of your choosing to achieve at least level eight and six skills. We completed the Renaissance Sim aspiration. We got divorced. We will get remarried to the same Sim. And we have lived now at least three different worlds over the course of our life. So we officially have finished Amethyst season, except for becoming a remarried to the same Sim, which is wild. Oh my gosh, that happened really fast, but not that fast. Fast. Oh my gosh. It's like slowly becoming time to pass the torch fox berry over here. She's so happy. She's like loves her new cat. Go discuss some stuff with your friend and then you might want to go to bed. Thank her for coming. Maybe give her a nice hug too. Become best friends. Oh, they have to become best friends again. Obviously. Compliment outfit. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more. I'm sure of it. Aww. Fox is getting up. Going to go uh, make a mess because that's what he does. Amethyst is eating her. Oh, he reached a level of creativity. Yep, he's working on his creativity this way. So we need to make it across the monkey bar three times in order to high score on the typing game and she'd have a level 10 motor skill. Oh, Indy is upset again. Let's go bounce Indy. I have no idea what's going on with Indy. Oh, apparently little brother's gonna try. Mom's like, I'll let you take care of it, my son. The baby and him did not get along because he did not know how to handle the baby. <laughs> what do you need, baby? You need to talk? Are you kidding, my son? was talking to you. The baby acted like, oh my God, we cannot quiet this baby apparently. Finally, finally we quieted the baby. My son cannot sleep because of the baby. Aww. Now everyone's asleep. Oh, and the baby's up again. Are you kidding me? Change that dirty diaper, mom. My lovely son, I love you so, so much. You're being so sweet. I'm trying to help with the baby, obviously failing. And the baby's gonna wake him up again. Actually, sing in the shower. You need to up your singing skills for the entertainment career is my guess. Even though you don't need to be a pro at the entertainment career, career. That's not a requirement of this challenge. I still feel the need to make her do her very best. Is she singing in the shower? I don't hear it. The skill is going up slowly but surely. Oh, I forgot to put her nose ring on every outfit. Ugh. Oh, she loves the new house. She's actually like kind of stupidly happy. Career freedom. I have a new baby. I'm feeling focused. I really like my indoorsy house. I think she's like enjoying for the first time in a while, kind of just focusing on herself and her own needs and like figuring out what she wants in her own life. So I think for most of her life, she's just kind of done what she thinks will please other people. School for Fox starts in an hour. Ooh, Fox, you gotta wake up, buddy. Get some food. Have a quick meal of some uh, cereal there. Amethyst is having cake for breakfast, which honestly sounds like a fun move. And Indy as usual is upset, but today is Indy's birthday, I believe. It is. And are we working today? Do we have work today? We don't. Let's just age up Indy, honestly. Although once we age up Indy, we'll need like a toddler bed. Maybe we won't age up Indy quite yet. <laughs> Let's go figure out what's wrong with Indy. We might have to remodel this house quite a bit and maybe delete a lot of stuff outside so we can have more money for indoor stuff. Indy is a very whiny baby. All right, bye, sweetie. Oh, he didn't get to eat his cereal. No, I'm sorry. Why don't you study hard a little bit, you know? Oh, looks like our cat has fleas. Come here, cat. 
We need to give you a vet treat. We don't have any vet treats. All right, we gotta take you to the vet clinic then today, cat. Let's go to Brindles and Bay. We're gonna go to the vet clinic. The hospital. yeah! Let's order some vet treats. We're gonna buy another 10. Oh, that's actually a lot of money. We don't have that much money right now. We're gonna buy another one. We don't have a lot of simoleons and I'm trying to save up because we have to use it on our toddler. So we're gonna give a vet treat to our beautiful baby. Also, we could like probably sell some of these things in our inventory. Sell all the patient samples. That seems a little bit not allowed, but I love it. There you go. Let's go back home with Kat. Oh, it looks like our coworker's here too. Brokyo. Wait, a pet owner. Yeah, it looks like she's here too. We should have said hi. I didn't even think. It's like one of those situations where you go into a place and you see someone that you know and you're like, oh, that's someone that I know. And then you thought about it and you're like, I should have said hi. <laughs> Why didn't I say hi? That's exactly what just happened. India's return from daycare. Yeah, we definitely need to make room for Indy. I think we just like extend this room like a square, right? Like I think that'll be the easiest. We just extend the room and then we add a little baby bed and then they all just sleep in one room with the Todd. It's not ideal, but I think it'll be fine. This looks kind of awkward, but I swear I'm gonna fix it in the next episode, I promise. I promise we'll have a new bed. So let's go age up our baby and then adjust. Cat is all good now. Freshened up. Oh, we should uh, get our mail as well. Oh, Theo sent India a gift. Insert a dead cannon. Oh, independent. That's a perfect toddler. Oh, Indy. Indy looks really cute, actually. I cannot wait to look at Indy in Create a Sim. We also need like a toddler potty now that I'm thinking about it. So maybe some like toys for our toddler too. Oh my gosh, we do not have room for this. Maybe we expend it one more time. So that way we can do like kind of this and then we can have some toys and then we'll have like a little toddler potty over here. I guess we could just put it here. Cool. Yeah, this is a bit of an awkward house extension that I've made, but I think it's gonna be okay. We'll just put another window here, grab like another nice little window box. This will be good for like at least another episode before I uh, remodel and everything. Oh, here's Indy. Here he goes. Baby Indy. Oh my goodness. Let's modify Indy and Kaz and see what he looks like. Indy. This is baby Indy. I feel like his skin tone doesn't really match his mother or father's skin tone. I'm pretty sure his father's skin tone is like closer to this area. I think this matches his father's skin tone a lot more. For his face, we'll give him some baby skin details. And then I like his hair. I think it's fun with the blue. I might just keep it. I think it's kind of cute. We'll do his fancy wear. He'll wear like a little purple suit. Ooh, I love the jacket already for party wear. We'll pop that on for hot weather and then cold weather. I like this. This little purple ensemble is very sweet. So let's go with that. This is great. Indy looks fun. Indy's a colorful kid. I like Indy a lot. I can't believe we had another toddler. I just, that was on me. I don't know if I should have done that. <laughs> Indy Berry is awake. And maybe we should put Indy to bed because Indy looks a little tired. But yeah, we're gonna have to start hustling a bit to make some cash money here as a performer. Indy, uh, why are you jumping off the bed? Go to sleep. And then now we might want to cook some food for the kids because we've been kind of eating just cereal for a minute. Might be good to have something maybe even healthy, maybe a garden salads for the family, you know? Could be good for everyone. And Catberry, oh my gosh, you need to come inside, Cat. Oh, is the door locked for all cats? I'm sorry I left you outside for a lot of the day. I didn't realize that you couldn't come in the door. <laughs> Poor Catberry. <laughs> Well, we start work in two days. Oh my gosh, okay. People trust you, Amethyst. Oh, we could have been in a style influencer. That would have been good though. Oh, I can't, I can't. I just picked up a new job. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. I didn't mean to do that. However, there's no rules against it. I do think though that we will try the entertainment group. <laughs> We're gonna quit it. And she's gonna have such a joy out of being like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll take a bit, no. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna quit. She's having so much fun quitting all these jobs. <laughs> Find the other job again. Oh, Indy's up, Indy's awake. Indy, why don't you play with your blocks, okay? Who's calling in with this now? Congratulations on your recent birthday. Thank you, person that I don't know very well. I appreciate it, very nice of you. Back to the entertainer career, I apologize. Oh shoot, now we have to do the practice music again because we restarted it. That's fine, why don't you, sing some songs. Oh, look, it's, oh, are you kidding me? Why is he my neighbor? You 
Hana Ashimoto is not my neighbor. You did not move. <gasps> Casey's an elder now, her hair grade. Yes, of course, we're gonna talk to you, Casey. Get out, send home. Absolutely not. We are not neighbors anymore. Please stop. Indy is sad, why? He had a nightmare. Oh, I need to put the baby nightlight. Here we go. We got him in between the beds. Amethyst is working on her skills here. Yes, that guy left, good. She's working on guitar and singing at the same time. Always be skill building. Simultaneous skills being built right now. Singing level four, good job. She's not as good of a singer as she is as a guitarist but she's working on it, you know? I love that she's chatting with mom and she sounds so happy. She feels a lot more like herself again. Good job, Indy reached level two of the movement skill. It's still saying not started for right jokes practice music, so we're gonna have to just practice music instead of sing songs. Jam, would jam count as practicing? Let's see. It's still saying not started. Oh, Fox is inviting over a classmate. Oh, and he's super, oh no, no, super mad is just Indy. Indy, go to bed, okay? Let's read Indy to sleep. Fox is vibing though. Fox had a classmate that he invited over. Who is this classmate? It's a little girl. It's Tyler Yamaguchi. Okay. Let's go impersonate mermaids with her. Tyler, do you want to come with me and play at the monkey bars across the street? We're going to add her to his group and we're going to play on the monkey bars. Come on, Tyler. I know where they keep the monkey bars. I know how to cross the street on my own. I didn't even ask. Amethyst is reading. Oh my God. She finds herself hilarious. Maybe calm down. You're kind of stressing me out about how playful you're being. Try to come down. I'm gonna save here just in case too. Oh, what if she died and I have to restart? You know what I mean? Like we can't do that again. We can't. She's got to get remarried before she dies. Otherwise we would fail the challenge and that would not be good. One year into this and I fail the challenge. Could you imagine? I don't want to imagine. I hate failure. There we go on the monkey bars. You know, one time when I was a kid, I fell off the monkey bars and apparently I uh, split open my head. It, I was fine though. Look at him going across the monkey bars. You gotta do it three times, okay? Oh, looks like Tyler is deciding to go back to your house to hang out with your mom. Tyler, why are you not hanging out with me? She wanted to go chat with your mom, Amethyst. How's Fox doing with the monkey bars? All right, he's two for two. Come on, Fox. Woo, good job. He finished it. All right, we now need to earn a high score on the typing game. You're gonna go back and play keyboard commander, maybe hang out with Tyler a little bit. Amethyst is apparently chatting with Tyler. Oh, Tyler does not like cats. Okay, well, hello, Tyler. It's nice to meet you, says Amethyst. A very polite introduction. Everyone always likes Amethyst because she's so polite and very sweet. Meanwhile, I'm not surprised that even though Fox invited Tyler over, Tyler's not really hanging out with Fox. Fox is a bit of a rap scallion, you know? I bet Tyler had to go back to be like, hey, we didn't ask your mom permission to go on the monkey bars and we should let her know where we are in case something bad were to happen. And Fox is like, Psh, we don't need to do do that. Now she's playing with the cat. Well, Fox is playing video games by himself. He's like, whatever. I don't need friends. I got vibes. Oh, and mom came out to sit with him at the table and chat while he played his game. Oh, it looks like Cat does not like Tyler. And it looks like Tyler might not like Cat. Yep, Catberry loves everyone. So I think Tyler's not the very best friend that we need around. But she might be like a little bit of a bad influence on Fox as well. She seems like a piece of work a little bit. Look at her. She's making fun of Mr. Bear or Blarfy. Blarfy the bear. It's unnecessary. Tyler, do you want to talk with me while I play my game? Still hasn't gotten a high score yet. I don't know how long you have to do this before you you get a high score. She's talking about bugs. Tyler's like, I gotta get home. See you later. And he's like, bye, Tyler. I cannot tell if they're friends or not. They might be frenemies. Yes, he got it. Okay, cool. He's got a high score. Now we just need to get level 10 of the motor skill. And he's working on it right now. He's almost at level seven. So that's pretty good. You're tired. It is 8 30. It's probably time for you to get ready to go to bed. Cat, did you do that? I thought you learned better. What if Cat's acting out? But it looks like our son is hungry. So we're gonna pull out some of our food here so you can grab some servings. Both of you guys can grab servings together. We made salads for everyone. Look at little Indy. Oh, such a sweetheart. Ooh, Amethyst music is doing really well. Honestly, she's so talented. I can't wait for her to be like a pop star. Oh my gosh. I think that cat is begging for food. Lecture about waking up. Cat, don't wake me up, okay? Bad cat. Give cat a hug too. Oh, cat has learned not to wake up Sims. Very good job, cat. Both of the brothers 
toddlers are going to sleep. Amethyst reached level nine of guitar. That's huge. She's only 25% done of practice music though. That's kind of wild to me. He's going to bed with his little brother in their bedroom. This is kind of cute. I will not lie. It's kind of fun having them all in one room together. I feel like they're getting really close. Oh my gosh, it's Grandma Skylar's here. We're all done practicing guitar for today. We have work on Friday and it's Wednesday right now. So we've got a little bit of time. Let's go talk with mom. I'm glad that mom came by. Look at their hair. It looks so nice. Oh, they're having such a good little sentiments together. Maybe she should kind of like tell her mom about how she kind of regrets leaving her husband, but she does not regret moving here. Skylar's such a romantic. I feel like she'd be like, you need to go for it. You know, like I'm glad I gave your father a chance because I would have never had you. But I knew when we were done, we were done versus like you seem like you might not be done with your story with your husband or your ex-husband, you know? Now she can go to sleep. I just heard grandma go, ah, where is she? Is she like venting to the bear? No, she's in here venting to cat and eating our food. Oh, angrily eating our food. Okay, mom. Skylar was like, I gotta go at 3 a.m. Yeah, I'm sure you do have to go. Oh God, it's harvest fest and we already have a visitor. Oh man, Indy is already waking up feeling it. Oh, why is he crying? Do you have a nightmare? Oh, his big brother woke up. He's like, it's okay. You got this, Indy. Indy's gonna go to the potty all on his own. He's such a big boy, very independent little lad. Fox is gonna watch some stink off him. Looks like it's a holiday today. So nobody has work or school. So I guess we have to spend harvest together. This tiny, tiny house all alone. This will definitely like add a bit of a gut punch to the fact that Amethyst isn't. <gasps> Unless Amethyst recommends that they all spend Harvest Fest together. Maybe she should. Maybe she should be like, it's Harvest Fest. I want to see the twins. And then she goes over and they kind of maybe have a bit of flirt. Maybe. Is it too soon? I feel like it might be too soon. She hasn't even gone to work at her new job yet. I just miss them. I feel like that's what she wants. I bet she really wants to like reach out and be like, let's do Harvest Fest together. But she probably won't. But maybe she'll do Winterfest. So next, next holiday, she'll probably be back with them. I don't no, I haven't decided. Who knows? Maybe they'll get together for Harvest Fest, but not flirt. Maybe that's like the middle of the road. What is this gnome? We're gonna try to appease the gnomes. He does love this tradition. It would be funny though if he failed at it. Oh no, he nailed it. He nailed it first try. What a sweetie. Oh gosh, Indy's going through a growth spurt. Oh, I got it. Mr. Floppy the gnome also liked our gift of salad. Oh, I nailed it. Oh, I'm so smart. Oh, Indy wants attention. Mom is up. She will tell him a little story. Maybe use the toilet and grab some leftovers. She also can go to mom's house for Thanksgiving, which actually makes a little bit more sense, but I feel like she'd want to see the twins. Oh, they just left and reappeared right here because they're gonna block anything anywhere they go, which would be funny. I'm glad that we appeased the gnomes though because that was Fox's favorite part of Harvest Fest. Yeah, I think we should go to someone's house, but I kind of want to see the twins. I'm worried if they like age up without us. I want to see if the kids are aged up yet. Okay, they're not. I wish it told me when their birthday was. Amethyst just maxed the parenting skill. Oh my gosh, that is huge. Let's travel. We're gonna leave Cat at the house. Well, let's just see how he is, okay? We're not gonna flirt. We're just gonna go because it's the holidays and we got to see our kids. She wants to see Slate and Violet. That's it. That's why no other reason. I'm going to get to the reward of like always welcome. I believe it's called. Always welcome. Yeah, I think we need to do that. So that way we can cook a grand meal in the house. Oh my gosh, he's right here, still in his outfit. Brighten his day and give him like a little hug. They're still kind of friends, so be thankful. There you go. So let's come inside. Indy, why don't you introduce yourself to your dado? Oh, look, see, yeah, Indy's skin tone looks a lot more like dad's now. In fact, Indy kind of looks like a miniature version of Theo, which I feel like Amethyst probably noticed. Amethyst, why don't you you cook a grand meal. Let's do a ham dinner and then we can invite Theo to join us. Look at these. Fox, where are you doing? Oh, Fox is cleaning up the mess that he made forever ago. And Slate and Violet are here playing in Fox's old room. Oh my gosh, I miss this. Ugh. She's gonna go make the 
Oh, he's checking her out. She's looking so good in those jeans. He's obviously still in love with her because she's the one that like up and left. Oh, and he's giving a hug to Fox as well. They're spending time together. Why don't you ask him to join you? Come on, Theo, come help her cook. You guys will bond together. He looks so sad, but he's helping. Oh, Indy's going up the stairs. Max cooking and charisma. Is that Amethyst reached that? Oh my gosh, she has. She maxed out charisma and parenting and cooking and dancing. Wow, she's maxed out so many skills. Aw, and I love that Fox is chatting with the twins and telling them little goofy stories. And Indy ran upstairs to play with the blocks by himself, of course. Good job, Indy. He's too independent. He's like, I don't want to be around the other kids. I don't care. Oh, they age up tomorrow. We're gonna have to have a birthday for them. We'll happen to be seeing Theo a lot. We're cooking the grand meal. Everything's gonna go super well, okay? Indy is hungry. Well, perfect, because we are cooking right now, so good timing. Oh my gosh, Theo went upstairs to cry in the bed. My whole heart is breaking. He probably misses her so much. Indy, go give your dad a hug. He deserves it, okay? I can't believe I ruined this marriage. But also, I think it'll be that much stronger because she'll feel more comfortable in her own skin. I think that was the problem. Who knows, maybe she'll move back or maybe he'll move there and open up a second gym. All right, everybody, it's food time. She's chatting with her bebe, Slate. Oh, Indy and dad are getting along so well. Okay. Fox is like, I'm all done with going to the bathroom. I'm coming down. Everybody's coming downstairs, except for, for some reason, Violet is going upstairs. I don't know why, but it's good to see all the kids together. It's weird having them apart, actually. I'm really glad that I went over to his house. It might have been too soon, obviously, for Theo. I still think it's nice. Oh, he's leaving. All right. I guess he had to probably go into work or something. So she's just there with all the kids. This is gonna take a while to heal, What she kind of broke a little bit. <laughs> oh no, he's back. Maybe he just went downstairs to grab something. Oh, and it looks like Indy and Fox are arguing over something. Look how flipping big this family is. What did I do? <laughs> the amount of littles in this family is a lot. It's a lot of littles. Promise to dedicate a song to him? No, that seems a little much. She'll just do a compliment, be like, oh, you're looking really good. You know, the house looks great. Oh wait, this is her mom's jersey. She did leave some stuff here that I forgot to grab. She's gonna go take a shower probably in their old shower. Share Harvest Fest excitement. Oh, he's such a big brother to all the kiddos. Are you chatting with the other Todds? It's like he can't introduce himself. He doesn't know the other toddlers, his siblings. I think that's so garbage. I can't believe they can't get to know each other. I feel like that's a big flaw in the Sims that they don't already have a relationship and they can't chat yet. Maybe we'll have to throw like a play date between the toddlers and they'll all play together. Although they'll be kids tomorrow. Genevieve is saying, one of my friends heard how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Yeah, I guess technically I'm single. I'll take their number. She fell asleep in the bathtub. Amethyst, get up. What the heck? You fall asleep in the bathtub, you chaotic queen. Get up and sink in the shower. You weirdo. They should have a family dance party. Go here together, all right? Let's turn on and we're gonna turn on her favorite hip hop. And then we're gonna have a family dance party. No, she's gonna dance battle with Theo and he's gonna dance as well. Everyone's gonna dance upstairs, all right? Family dance time. They're already having family dance time downstairs? Okay, well then you need to come downstairs and have family dance time here, all right? Go dance. Look at this family dancing party. It happened organically. I was gonna make it happen, but then it already happened. Of course, she's just over the top dancing to like Christmas music. Apparently now that Harvest Fest is over, it's officially Christmas time. They are listening to their Christmas music. Honestly, that's how I am too. <laughs> How's Indy? Indy's upstairs. Oh, he's coming downstairs to dance. She's showing off for sure. Look at those boobs. Oh my is he pregnant? Stop it. He's pregnant with a female baby from Riley. I would have assumed it was an alien. Oh, how cool. I didn't know he could get pregnant. That's good for you, Agyukuda. Someone stinks. Does someone have a smelly diaper? Where are all the kids? Oh, yep, it's Slate. Slate's got a stinky diaper. My coworker's wanting to try for a baby. Yes, it seems like having babies is in the air. See, we were having babies before it was cool. Oh, we're playing. Oh, I just want them all back together again. I don't want them split up anymore. 
it. Look at him. Look at him. He's clearly still obsessed with her. Oh, he's probably like actually like pretty happy for her that she feels more like herself again. And he's happy with his boys. He's spending time with his boys that he doesn't get to spend time with much. Where is Violet? Violet's like chilling alone upstairs. Oh, Violet went to sleep. Oh, Violet was tired. Okay. I think we should just apologize for how everything went down. I feel like Amethyst would feel kind of guilty. About it. I also feel like she probably misses him a lot, but she doesn't miss living in San Machuno. I think she really did not want to live there anymore. Oh, he accepted her apology. Enthuse about dancing because you know he likes dancing. Oh my gosh, I'd be thankful. They keep having the kiss interaction come up, and I'm just like, I, I get it all. Oh, look at their kids. You know, Fox is like, it's smelly. The diaper of that toddler is smelly. My boys, it's like getting close to bedtime for the bonzos. Oh, he's putting the kids away. This is probably what it's like every day with him, like putting them away in this room that they built together. We could technically all sleep over. It's just Indy wouldn't have a bed. Oh no, Indy. Indy, no. We're going to discipline. We're going to calmly ask not to make a mess. Be like, Indy, please don't make a mess at dad's house, okay? Oh, it used to be her house, obviously, because it matches her aesthetic. He hasn't changed it a bit since she's left. She's gonna clean it up. They're all still dancing. I love it. I mean, we could all sleep over. I just think that that might be too much. I think we should go home. Oh, Theo's coming downstairs. What is he gonna do? Oh, he's chatting with Indy. Of course he is. Oh, but she loves it. She loves watching them do that. Oh, offer gratitude to Theo. Be like, thank you so much for having us over today. Like, I know it, it was probably a little awkward, but I'm really glad that we did this. It's a suggestive, can you just stop? It was a suggestive conversation for like two seconds. Also, they have a sentiment from cooking together today. It's very awkward, but she still finds him very attractive and they're still best friends. Theo is still deeply wounded about what happened. She's kind of gotten past it. As you can see, she still like only has cooking together sentiments, but he is still super wounded about what went down between them. And I do not blame him. I wish we could just like ask him just to be friends and then rebuild the like romance. Oh, of course, Fox likes gaming. There's so many romantic things she could try. I don't want to rush it though, but they seem to be having a good combo. I think it's time to go home. Look at Indy. Indy's like mad right now. Oh, Indy's been sent home. Let's have everybody go home. Say goodbye. He's headed out. I don't know if he's just headed to work or what's going on, but he's gone. Or maybe he just went downstairs. It looks like he's running somewhere. I do not know where he's going. <gasps> Did you just see that? He swooned at the sight of her and he ran her to like the bus stop essentially. And he's waiting outside for his son to like get there too. He's like, bye. Oh my God, my heart. It was so hard for me not to get them flirting again. It was so hard. I showed, I showed so much strength and patience. I have no patience. I'm like, I want my sis together and married now. But I think that was a good foundation, okay? My Sims had a really nice time together. We're gonna give Indy a bath. Fox is gonna go to bed because I think he has school tomorrow. Yep, he does. He has school tomorrow. Indy's just waiting for my, oh my gosh, he's so mad. He's probably kind of mad because he wants to stay at dad's house. He's probably like, I wanna stay with dad. And Amethyst is like, well, I can't help that. <laughs> he swooned over her when she left. He's still in love with her. They'll get closer next episode. I trust. I trust the process. She's having a good time, giving Indy a nice little bath, and then she'll uh, put him to bed. And then she needs to go to bed too. Harvest Fest is officially over. I had a good day at dad's house. That was good. I'm glad that we went. And she's gonna go to bed. Feeling pretty happy, honestly. Fox has decided to just stay up, which I hate. I guess he can go like work on his motor skills or whatever. I love that we just leave the laptop outside. Indy, why can't you just sleep? sweetie. Just sleep, okay? I don't know why you can't go to bed. There's gotta be something keeping him up. Why don't you go potty, okay? You be big boy. He's hungry too. There's no food for him. I guess we need to wake up Amethyst so that she can cook something. Let's do like a party size mac and cheese. Fox is working on his little motor skills. Everybody is doing great. Oh, she's also so happy that her toddlers are growing up so fast. Oh, she's thinking about her family member. Man, I wish we'd stayed over at his place. Oh my gosh, she's so tired. 
tired. We've been trying to get you to sleep for hours. I don't understand why he won't sleep, but we got food for him. So at least there's that. He can go eat some food. Fox is almost at level nine. Yeah, almost at level nine of the motor skill. Oh, did you not eat either? Oh my gosh, what is his deal? Let's debug you and have you eat. I feel like you're kind of bugged. There we go. Okay, he's finally eating, which is a good thing. And then mom, can you put him to sleep? Mom has her first day at work tomorrow, which is very exciting. I feel like we've been waiting for this all week for her to get to go in. She mainly works weekends, which makes sense. And she's often like the midweek, but that'll be kind of a bummer for Fox, but it will make sense for his origin story that he's alone a lot and just gets up to mischief. Fox, did you finish your skill? Woohoo, he has actually, he's almost at level 10. Yeah, oh my gosh, he's like almost all the way through. We might as well just complete this aspiration right now. He stayed up all night playing this game and someone passed out, but it doesn't matter. Aspiration has been achieved. Congratulations, Fox. Oh my gosh, achieved his first aspiration as a young wee child. Next episode, I think we will be slowly but surely looking at getting Amethyst and Theo back together. I have a feeling their divorce isn't gonna last for very long. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And then we will be slowly but surely moving over our focus to our next gen. I think this is gen six, orange generation, AKA Fox. So I hope you had so much fun hanging out with me today. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you. Let me know if you have any suggestions for this series in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye. Honestly, I just can't wait to be evil. I think being evil is gonna be a whole lot of fun.